Hello. Hi, good morning. Um, I would like to show you a way to sketch the more circle that's required for the um, assignment number two, uh, material handling. So um, it's not a trick actually. Uh, it's this method is adopted widely in the soil labs and uh, material handling lab to find what will be the value of the sigma c and the sigma one by knowing what will be the value we got for the sheet stress and the compression stress, the on, yeah, normal stress we have uh, through the lab um, experiments. So if you go back to your assignment, you have this table. You have three testers and each one actually has been done uh, after the time constellation. So uh, I think the time was something about three days and uh, yeah, 48 hours. So uh, we got these values, and we would like to check what will be the value of the sigma 1 and the sigma c so we can sketch a diagram to get the value of the delta. Uh, this delta. Okay. Uh, then we can continue the design to find what will be the value of this sigma wall, delta wall, and then we can find what the opening value for each uh, one. So <clears throat> Actually, you should search to find how to get these calculations because everything is mentioned in the um, in the lecture. But still, I will give you some hints. As we, I already gave you hints. I get to give you some hints to sketch um, uh, the more circle and find the value. So we have three sets. That's we. That means we need three different sets of more circle to find the sigma one and sigma c for each one, and then we start to sketch to find the value of the cast. So I'll start with the first value. Now, just remember here that um, I'll take this one for you. So we you can see here that we have 1.74, and we have uh, that's for normal stress, and for the shear stress we have value of 2.61. So just let me write down on this paper because I get to close this window again to the solid work uh, to use it for the graphical uh, solution for the Mohr circle. And the last value we found, the maximum one is 672, and we have the 5.47. Okay, now I can sketch a line which have this starting point and this ending point on solid work. So go to solid work, and well, let me start this one from the beginning, uh, discard and exit. Okay, now. I get to uh, start a sketch. I will choose it from the front uh, plane and then start to make a sketch. The first thing I have to do is sketch my x axis and y axis. So let me more accurate go to the center point, sketch a line, okay, then sketch another line which is vertical to it. Okay, and then I will decide that this one, for example, is going to be 50 and this line is going to be 50. Now we take it 2 millimeter to be scale, that's each one millimeter is going to be one uh, kilopascal we have in the test. So now I will start to sketch my two points. The best thing to do that is sketch a rectangular, corner rectangular. So I will make a first rectangular and I will make a second one. Now uh, well, it's much better to make it as uh, because we don't need these lines now. So just try to make it for construction. Click. That's fair. Now let's put the data for the first point. So in the first point, the x-x is is 1.74. Click. And the y value was 2.61. 2.61. Click. That's my first point. Let's check the other point. My x axis value was 6.72. My y value was 5.47. Click. Now get closer. Zoom. Now I have these two points. I can sketch a line. And let's say it's going to start from this point and ending at this point. Now first I can get value of the theta from here, 29.86. This value is for the theta. The length of the uh, this one doesn't matter. Now 
If I would like to find the value of the constellation force, um, sketch a straight line. Uh, well, this should be parallel to this one. Uh, I'll try to do it the other way. Click, go to this point, then going down. Uh, click intersect, uh, remove this one, uh, trim, okay, now if I click here, the y value 1.61, this will be the value for the C, the constellation, if you remember when we did that. Now, let's go to the more circle. Now, you, you remember that, well, in mathematics, that... Um, the the um, circle circumference. If we are going to have any line tangent to this circumference, it's going to be perpendicular to the radius. Now I remember that. Oh well, uh, sorry, I, I remind you about that once again. So we said once again that if we have a circle and we are going to make a tangent to this circle, a tangent line, and if we are going to sketch a line from the center of the point perpendicular to this tangent line this will be the radius so if I would like to sketch the, the circle which is going to be tangent to this line I'm going to take the maximum value I have on this line well this is the practical method because we didn't get the value for the C1 and the CH uh, sorry sigma 1 and sigma h and then found the middle point to sketch the, the circle so we're going the other way we got the value for the normal force we got the value for the shear force and then we would like to find the sigma 1 which is the maximum for uh, pressure we can add so to make this trick i going to sketch two perpendicular lines to this line so just try to make it with uh, the best way now what I'm doing is rectang uh, triangle, uh, rectangular shape uh, with the three points sketch this one okay now I have two lines which are perpendicular to this line I'm going to trim the unwanted uh, side okay and I'm going to set this one to be a construction lines okay now I have the radius for the first one but not the radius for the second one if I going to use this one as a center point and it's not going to go through the origin point and this will be wrong so we are going to have another assumption later now let's try to fix the first one to find the Sigma 1 value go this one will be my center contact with this one click I have circle now I don't want the full circle I will remove the lower part click OK now if I click on this point it's going to give me a value for the x-axis 16.169 16.7 16 16 16.17 sorry and this will be the Sigma 1 here okay then the Sigma 1 for the second test okay I got the Sigma 1 I finish with the circle number one. Now I'll go with the smaller circle, which will give me the value of the sigma c or the fc, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and now this will be a little bit tricky because what I would like to have is a circle which passing by this point and should be tangent to this point, but it's almost impossible to have it because I don't have the center, which meant to be an experimental work. So in this case, I'll try to do it by passing by these two points. Circle, which passing by these two points. The intersection of this circle is going to be the value for the sigma c. Now this is sigma 1, and let's get the sigma c. So to make an arc on solid work, uh, I hate that. We click on this uh, point, we go up with the line. We go back to the same point, then we go out. Okay, I'll repeat that. Click a line, go to the starting point, go up. If you want to take the arc to this direction, I mean this, dire this direction. So go down once again to the same point, go up. Now I will try to sketch my circle, going up, 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 until we are going to have a passing 
this uh, the p p p uh, sorry passing the point we would like to have I can check that anyway uh, don't need that is it passing uh, sort of it's not going to be that accurate but anyway now let's click this one the value I got for the X is 5.66 this will be Sigma C you can uh, make it as 5.7 for example okay now I got the Sigma one and I got the uh, Sigma C okay I'll write down that on paper because we have to make another sketch so the Sigma C is equal to 5.7 and the Sigma one is equal to um, 16.2 let's say 16.2 uh, we approximate that because this will be much easier for us to uh, do the sketching so I will open a new document uh, I'm sorry, a new part and start to do the same calculation once again I uh, will take the front plane uh, make the x-axis and the y-axis uh, get closer to this one uh, click then I will go up click you remember that we don't have too much value so I will uh, make this one for example 20 and the upper one is 20 okay so uh, I will locate the point we got for the um, Sigma 1 and Sigma C ah, not this one okay remember that this x actually is sigma 1 and this is sigma c so to get my point I will get that the sigma 1 is equal to 16.2 and the sigma c is equal to 5.7 okay I got my my second test point so if you are going to make for the first one and the third one you are going to have multiple points and uh, continue with the things I can simply join this line and what I have here is the FF curve the flow function curve okay now I think I, I, I did the um, half of the solution for you for this question and actually the same thing can be done on the graph paper all the only thing you need is the uh, graph paper then you can do the same calculation now if I going to go the value of the FF and the the material flow rate function then I can sketch a line and have intersection to va find the cash value I have to find the value for three points how to find the Sigma um, sorry the Delta uh, I have to sketch no not the most circle, more circle just my sigma one and sigma c and then I can find the three value for them then I can sketch the uh, mass flow rate uh, uh, function uh, but uh, for for the find the value of the theta th this will be theta for uh, this one but um, it's uh, to find the value of the delta uh, I'm going to use so we have to sketch the three lines um, well let's let's sketch this one for you okay uh, I'll keep playing the role of the good guy so for the um, uh, test number one we have 3.11 and we have 4.66 I'm not going to make the more circle just remember I only going to show you how to sketch a line to find the Delta I get to use for the um, calculation so 11.19 that's not sigma wall okay and for the test number three we have 1.37 and we have 1.8 and the maximum value is 3.86 and 3.11 so uh, from there I will uh, go back to the solid work and uh, now I don't don't want these uh, well let's make a new one 
okay so uh, this will be another sketch uh, start from there I'm going to put now six points not not uh, just two and uh, let's try to do it with this one first okay so go to the zero sketch my one I need uh, two three four five and six okay and of course all all going to be construction thing all going to be for construction okay so select all and for construction now uh, let's start with the point one by one so I will click the uh, upper one to get the maximum value again to have the there is that the Sigma is going to be equal to 16.2 six I'm oh, sorry uh, I got the wrong value so the highest value we found here for the Sigma one was uh, six uh, thirteen point three seven thirteen point three seven and for the shear force for the same point was eleven point one nine now uh, going to the next point uh, and well I have three point one okay now it's going to be the third point that's for the experiment number one and the value is going to be 3.11 for the x-axis and uh, for the y-axis is going to be 4.66 bingo okay now I have two points I get to sketch my first line so just go with that this will be uh, the line I have and its uh, value here for the angle is the theta one uh, now go to the other point uh, for the test number two click that and uh, for test number two as we remember that we got that the value was uh, 6.72 6.72 and the y axis value was 5.47 5.47 click I got the longest point and for the lower point I had for this test was uh, 1.74 and uh, 2.61 2.61 now I got the other point I make the other line that's for test number two now test number three the lower value was 1.37 1.37 and 1.8 for the y 1.8 for the y and for the higher value I got uh, 3.86 3.86 and I have the 3.11 for the shear stress now I had the third line so make uh, the sketch okay now actually you can see that these lines are quite parallel so to sketch the line to give me the value for the Delta as we learn from the lecture you can see that this line is almost passing by all the lines we had there okay or at least it's trying to pass by all of them so anyway I will consider this one because actually I have to do some uh, playing with the things I click this line okay now uh, I got this line okay and this line have the angle of 39.46 this will be my delta again to use it in the 